guys, today we're going to be putting the Nivea Q10 line to the test for one entire week and see what happens to my skin. Now, I'm really excited to try this out just because the Q10 line is one of the best selling from Nivea. And on top of that, it has amazing reviews. Now, guys, I was initially going to test both the Anti-Wrinkle Plus Firming Day Cream with SPF 30 and also the Night Cream version of this. However, looking at the ingredient list, they are both exactly the same apart from the Day Cream containing SPF in it. So really, there was no point in me buying both. So I just went with the day one. And now you guys, Nivea claims that these creams are supposed to help firm up the skin and on top of that reduce the signs of fine lines and wrinkles. And also they contain creatine which apparently is supposed to stimulate the production of collagen therefore make our skin a lot more firmer and also help with cell renewal. So these are some very big claims they're making. I'm quite excited to try this out, I'm not gonna lie. So I really want to see if this is gonna help reduce the appearance of my fine lines and wrinkles because even though I am 20, unfortunately they are already starting to appear. So you guys, without further ado, I'm really excited. Let's Let's put this to the test, shall we? Okay, you guys, so before I apply this cream, I first want to show you what my skin looks like to begin with. So I am a 20, and unfortunately, guys, I'm already starting to experience a little bit of fine lines and wrinkles, especially here on my forehead. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but trust me, they're here. Also, my crow's feet, they're starting to appear. So I really hope to Jesus that this cream could help me with that. But anyways, first off, I want to see the smell and the consistency. Oh, it smells very nice. It's very like delicate. It's not overpowering at all. The consistency is quite soft and liquidy. Here we are applying it. I'm gonna apply this amount here. And now I'm gonna start blending it in and see how it spreads. Okay, so it's very nice on the skin. First thing I wanna see is if this gives me a white cast just because it contains SPF 30 in this actually. Another thing that I usually experience with creams containing SPF is that usually they peel up during the day, like if I touch my skin or whatever. So it'll be interesting to see if this peels up as well. I am gonna say this is definitely a lightweight cream and formula, so it's definitely nice to use during the day and it's not gonna be too heavy. But anyways, this is all my skin looks like with the cream on and I will keep you guys updated and post it throughout the day to see how this develops. Like if the cream starts peeling off, what happens to the SPS, if it maybe turns into a matte cream, we don't know yet. So definitely keep on watching to see. Okay guys, so it's been almost four hours since I last applied this cream and I wanna show you what it looks like. As you can see, it is almost like a wet look it's definitely not matte and i want to say it doesn't seem to peel a lot but it's also very moisturizing so we definitely like it by the way if you're wondering why i'm using an umbrella in broad daylight with the sun that is exactly the reason why because there's the sun and i'm scared as you all know but definitely keep on watching for day two because we have to see what the ingredient list for this cream is hi guys so it's day two it's time for me to moisturize once again now there are no updates in terms of wrinkles but of course like it's only day two as you can see they're still very much present however i am gonna read you guys the ingredient list for this moisturizer just to better understand what to expect from this and also if it is any good so i actually have the ingredient list right down here just because there is none right here on this product which is definitely weird so anyways the first thing we did is actually glycerin so this is basically contained in all moisturizers we are not surprised this is very hydrating and moisturizing and actually guys a little tip if you see any ingredients containing glue that little bit that just means that are all going to be moisturizing and hydrating the next ingredient i see is ethylenoxane colcate now you guys i have to be honest i didn't know what this was but then i looked it up and i actually found out that this is actually coconut based and if you didn't know coconut is actually well first of all i don't like it at all in my skin just because i am the pimple queen also being the sebum queen you know i have many titles but so that usually breaks me out so i do not want it in my skin however for some people and in small amounts it can actually be good because it is an occlusive product therefore it is going to create a film on your skin and therefore prevent transepidermal water loss so any loss of moisture and water in your skin which is definitely a plus to keep it hydrated i then see methylpropendiol now this is a glycol based product so of course as i told you before that is also going to be very moisturizing and hydrating however this can also increase the penetration of your active ingredients so for example your retinols your salicylic acids your niacinamides then there is acetyl and sterile alcohol which is basically again very good moisturizing alcohols in skincare because as you guys know there are good and bad alcohols in skincare usually these two alcohols are very common in moisturizing creams and now you guys the interesting thing is that you know how Nivea was like claiming that because of the creatine this cream was going to reduce all the fine lines and wrinkles well creatine is actually very low in the ingredient list which I mean I 
wasn't surprised at all because usually these active ingredients are quite low in the ingredient list so we were not surprised about that however that means that you won't get much benefit out of it just because it is just in so small concentration that your skin is really gonna struggle to see any like quick and effective results like right away and then lastly of course this is a Nivea cream and I'm already smelling it right here there is added perfume you guys I hate perfume in all my skincare but we know Ivia is that girl she loves to be smelled as soon as she walks into a room so of course there was gonna be added perfume but actually it is very irritating and sensitizing to your skin without actually having any added benefits so anyways you guys this was the ingredient list I have to say this is actually quite good ingredient list apart from the perfume and the coconut oil possibly that could maybe break me out we don't know yet so that is why you definitely still have to keep watching to see if this cream is breaking me out but on top of that if it does anything to my crow's feet and to my fine lines on my forehead girl hello guys so it's day four I wanted to give you a little quick update as of now I'm definitely enjoying this cream just because it's ticking all the boxes that I need it is lightweight it is very refreshing it doesn't give me a white cast it doesn't peel up during the day and it also isn't too greasy nor does it sting if it gets in my eyes so girl there are definitely some positives but now speaking about the most important part about this cream is if it's reducing my wrinkles and fine lines I feel like my skin is definitely looking better I will give it that I don't know though if I'll go as far as saying it has reduced my wrinkles just yet because you can still see them maybe a little bit more now that I think about it you know what you know you know what maybe it's actually working it's magic but definitely it's still only halfway through in this experiment so we definitely need a little bit more time because four days is definitely not enough time to see even a little small change so girl you definitely have to keep on watching to see what happens hi guys so it's day six as you can see I'm already applying my cream and it's almost over this experiment but I want to show you what my skin looks like just because I think that my wrinkles are slowly starting to decrease in noticeability like look my crow's feet I feel like they're not as noticeable and also the wrinkles on my forehead do you see any lines because I don't so I mean maybe this might be actually working which I'm quite surprised but you guys anyways definitely keep on watching because I have some final thoughts and opinions that I want to share with you guys that I haven't told you about yet that are definitely very important so you need to keep watching first thing I want to bring to your attention is I am matching the packaging of this cream yellow line yellow t-shirt white package white hat honestly I'm gonna just lay it there, do with it what you will, but honestly, I might have did something. Girl, I took skincare to a whole new level. But anyways, I know what you're here for, so I'm gonna get right into it, shall we? So, I'm gonna start with the positive things, because there are some positive, but there are also many negatives that I haven't yet told you from the vlogs, because I wanted to keep it a secret for the people that only stayed here to watch. So congratulations, if you're still watching, you're gonna get all the tea about this. So actually, the first thing that I really like about this cream is the formula, because it is solid, it is firm, and it is just, I love it. It contains a lot of really soothing, hydrating, moisturizing ingredients in it. Apart from one, which is sodium hydroxide, which is actually a little bit irritating, but it's actually quite down in the ingredients, so it's not gonna be that much of an issue. And apart, of course, for Parfum, which Nivea loves Parfum, we all know that. She's the girl that just loves to be smelled before she even enters a room. Hey, boo. Hi, girl. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. But anyways, I have found that thanks to the formula and the ingredients in this, this cream is capable toward delivering moisture for honestly a really long time. Another thing that I really liked was the consistency. This is very lightweight, it gets absorbed quite quickly and also it doesn't leave a white cast. Which these things are really important for a morning for a day moisturizer because you don't want a cream that is heavy looking and that doesn't get absorbed quite fast and also that leaves you a white cast. This does leave a white cast in certain lighting but not in natural lighting so that's good. And lastly, another thing that I liked and this might be a little bit controversial for anyone watching my videos y'all probably gonna you know hold on to your chairs because I don't want you falling but I actually kind of like the fragrances it's don't eat me <sighs> You know, in the morning, during the day, if you apply this moisturizer, then your skin is gonna smell amazing. And, and you know, if you have a boy approaching you and maybe just, you know, sniffing you around, cause that happens. You know, boys are very much just like dogs. Honestly, if you think about it, dogs chase balls. What is one of the favorite sports by men? Football, rugby, which they all involve chasing balls. Us girls, we don't like football that much and so we're smarter. Not to say that all the girls that love sports like football and rugby are stupid. It's just uh, us girls, we're just smarter. Even for the girls that love sports anyways that's not the point the point is this fragrance is actually quite nice so all brands if you have to put a fragrance in your skincare products at least have the decency to making it nice i'm looking at you clean and clear 
Take notes from Miss Nivea, because she knows what she's doing, at least. Anyways, enough of the positives. It is now time for me to move to the negatives and the things that I didn't like. So for that, I'm going to need my reading glasses, which I left them right there. It'll take, like, literally one second. Just honestly, bear with me. <laughs> Got them. Honestly, I told you, no editing involved at all. I was that fast in real time. Yes. <laughs> but anyways, moving along to the negatives. <coughs> Nivea, get comfortable because I'm gonna have to read a lot to you. So first thing that I didn't like is that this cream is actually, I want to say, misleading. All you Nivea stands before y'all jump me through the camera and start choking me, I, let me just explain to you why. And that is, this cream says it fights wrinkles and it fights fine lines and reduces their appearance. Now, I know I know in the vlogs I was saying that I might have been seeing a little bit of improvement however pondering back I thought that that was just because I was applying a moisturizer on it wasn't actually reducing my fine lines wrinkles and actually if I think about it it does make sense because there are really not a lot of ingredients in this cream that are supposed to fight wrinkles apart from creatine but again that is not even the most effective one the most effective that we know of are peptides retinols vitamin C's none of that is in this one so really why are you saying Saying, Nivea that this is anti-wrinkle honestly I feel like you was a little bit misleading another thing that I don't like and that is just not for this Nivea cream containing SPF it is just for all day creams containing SPF is that it can actually be a little bit dangerous people actually think oh well this cream contains SPF in it I am covered I'm Gucci for the whole entire day all I need is a little bit of this and I am covered however the Sun is gonna be like oh you tried. I see you trying there, but girl, trust me, it ain't gonna work. I am a seasoned veteran. I know what you're trying to do, and I know better. So I, here you go. Here are my UV rays, and you's gonna be like, ah! Aging, honestly, what am I doing? Because you guys, it is actually proven that the only thing working is sunscreen. Makeup with SPF, moisturizers with SPF are not gonna give you the right amount of SPF and protection that you need. Even though it says SPF 30 in the moisturizer, which I'm sure it does contain SPF 30, for you to reach that level and that amount of coverage, you would need to use a lot. Like honestly, a tablespoon of this moisturizer. And nobody is out here using a tablespoon of moisturizer slash foundation, even if you are in the UK, Jan, even if you are in a place where it's cloudy, Jan, I'm gonna need you to wear sunscreen, of course. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to do that. Yes, thank you. So anyways, apart from these two negatives, we are all done. So now it's time to weigh both the positives and the negatives. Mm-hmm. So let's start weighing. Boop, 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 boop. This is the sound effects of like a balance balancing to see the judgment. Right, so the results are in, you guys, and now the question that y'all been waiting for has finally come. Mateo, will you be using this in your skin routine once this experiment is over? And the answer to that is yes, ma'am. Let me tell you why. Because the two negatives that I said, honestly, they are on you. They are not on this Nivea cream to deliver. Like, it's not anything about the cream in itself. It's more about the consumer using it. They should know better. Like, honestly, they should know that moisturizers containing SPF are not going to be enough. On top of that, the other thing the anti-aging claims that she's making. I mean, they probably could be working. There are some other ingredients that work a lot better like retinol, but, but still, that's not that much of a drawback. The things that I'm looking for, however, in a morning moisturizer is that they provide hydration for a really long time. Check on that. That it doesn't give me a white cast if it contains SPF, which, you know, it's quite nice because it's an added layer of protection. Just don't rely on this on its own. That's all I'm saying. So check on that. Also, it doesn't peel up. Check on that. And also, it is not that shy I need just that liquidy and greasy looking and it's quite lightweight, so check on that too. It all checks up. Look at all this checklist. Girl, she is checking, ticking boxes as if she was still in school. So, I will recommend this to you. I definitely will, 100%. And so, I actually will tell you where I bought it from. I bought this from Amazon because y'all know I don't step outside of my house. Even though I do wear sunscreen, I still don't go outside. I bought this baby for $5.90, if I'm not mistaken. $5.90 British pounds, royal pounds. And this is for actually 50 mls and i have to say you don't need a lot of this mind you so actually this will probably run you i would say probably a month or maybe a month and a half a little bit more so so you know it's not that bad and by the way you know you girl has got you covered so we actually found the cheapest product listing that i could find both on amazon uk and amazon us and i linked it down below in the pinned comment so if you want to go buy just click the link down below i will have to disclaim it is an affiliate link meaning i will get a little bit of that percentage of the money you ain't gonna have to pay more all this 
what's happening is instead of getting all the money to Amazon, you'd be giving a little bit to me. Anyways, girl, if you're still here watching after all this rambling, honestly, props to you because I could even sit through watching a video of myself. But you know, I'm gonna ask you a little one, just one last favor, and that would be to subscribe and turn the bell icon on if you are interested in skincare. If you want to learn more about your skin, what's your skin wants, needs, didn't know when needed. Also, if you have acne, wrinkles, girl, I'm all about that. I am crazy for skincare. Honestly, I am crazy just, just period. Like, I'm crazy. That. And so my randoms, they are also crazy just for skincare, though. They ain't crazy in the rest. But we would love to have you here, so join the random family. Mwah. I don't know why I'm so happy, but anyways, randoms, y'all know what time it is now. It's time for the Italian word of the video. And since this video was all about this Nivea Q10 line for the day and also by the way mind you like look can you see i kind of look like a, a sun yeah like this is the head and then all the rays of the sun anyway the italian word of the video is therefore gonna be sole which is sun in english but sister ma'am girl sir father daddy if you thought you were just about to click off this video boy too if you thought you were just about to click off this video like you always do because i know you i actually have installed a camera in your bedroom not in a creepy way to sound crazy but i told you i'm crazy so i actually might have actually did but you know what you should do instead if you don't want me leaking anything you might be doing in your bedroom that you don't want anyone else to know i'm just not saying anything you should watch whatever of these two videos because they are going to give you a lot of information about skincare but also they're going to be funny so honestly you're getting the best of both worlds but oh remember to be random and always be random mm, mm, mm. Little disclosure, I have not installed a camera in your bedroom. I just had to get it out there. But still, you gotta watch one of these 